KSBJ Radio, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Rochelle and Carter at KSBJ Radio in Humble, Texas. How do you hear me? Hear you loud and clear. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Uh, we have so many questions well, for you, Commander all, Shane Kimbrough. How is it that his connection is clearer from space than when I'm calling my mom in Oklahoma? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I, I hear that a lot. <laughs> well, I think the main question after Black Friday is done is, can you see the best Best Buy to go to for the shortest line from where you are? We need a flat screen, brother. Uh, well, unfortunately not. Our cameras are good, but they're not quite that good. <laughs> in, in all seriousness, after uh, Thanksgiving was over, and I know a lot of people, according to the Griswold calendar, have put out the Christmas tree lights. Can you see that from space? Are you seeing more and more lights outline our country? Well, we can't really tell the difference between a city at night uh, now or in June or in December. So okay. um, even though a lot of people put more lights out, we, we can't really see it from up here. I think it's just fascinating where you are that we're talking to you in space right now. How did you get started with all this? Because everybody grows up and they say at one time it's either firemen or astronaut. So how do you really get started to do this? Well, uh, probably the first step is to get a great education. You need to do that in a math, science, engineering, or some kind of technology field. Um, and in my case, I was fortunate enough to go to West Point and study aerospace engineering there. And then I went to Georgia Tech to get my master's uh, a few years after that in engineering as well. Um, so that was a good first step to set you, set you up. Um, you also need work experience. In my case, it was in the military. Um, so they do look for, you know, operationally minded folks from the military. Um, most of the astronauts are not military. They're scientists and doctors and teachers. So they come from a wide variety of backgrounds. Well, now that we have a rocket scientist at our fingertips and we can literally ask him anything we need to know, is a pre-lit Christmas tree the way to go or what? I'm probably going to get in trouble here, but uh, I'm more of a real Christmas tree person, even though my wife just bought a fake one since I'm gone. I will say, I don't <laughs> think that's rocket science. I think you can figure out what you want. Arguably, it is. <laughs> it's much easier, I guess, to do the pre-lit. Oh, my goodness. Well, how, what is it like to be up there during the season where you want to be with family for Thanksgiving and Christmas? And um, how long have you been uh, in the space station? Uh, it's been a couple hundred days or more? Or? Now, it's been about six weeks for myself and my crew. I have two Russian crewmates. We've been here about six weeks. Another crew just arrived a little over a week ago to join us. So now we're a crew of six. Um, and it's great to have, it was great to have them on board for Thanksgiving. It just made it more special to have more people around. Um, we tried to make it as much like home as possible with the traditional um, food with turkey and stuffing and um, cobbler and those kind of things. Um, but we also share traditions of going around the table and saying what we're thankful for. Um, we got to watch some football as well to make it a complete Thanksgiving experience. Um, so, and we'll do a similar thing at Christmas time. Um, we will put up some decorations for Christmas. Um, as we get closer, just to make it feel a little more like home. And, of course, we miss our families. But uh, if we got to be somewhere, this is a pretty cool place to be if you're not going to be on Earth. It must be a weird Thanksgiving because all the food is like toothpaste. That's real, right? It's turkey toothpaste and stuffing no, toothpaste. No, it's not toothpaste. It's, it's like beef jerky. Is that turkey. what it is? Dehydrated? Well, we've, we've progressed a lot. Um, some of our food is dehydrated that we obviously hydrate before we eat, and a lot of it's in pouches now. And we have, you know, uh, fresh food, we call it, you know, like tortillas and, you know, bonus food and things. Like if you like peanut butter, then you would send up peanut butter. Or, um, so we have a lot of the real foods that you eat today. The food is much better than it used to be. I love that he said he's going to put up holiday decorations. Literally, all you'd have to do is release them, and they go up. <laughs> Is that, is that what you guys do? Yeah, ours will be filled with uh, ours will be filled with Velcro to make sure they don't float around everywhere. It's kind of like what we do at home still. <laughs> Duct tape and Velcro, baby. <laughs> so you are 
from uh, Killeen, I believe, originally. And so you've been around the Houston area quite a bit. What is your favorite part about Houston? Well, Houston's just a great city, and it, it has it can offer everything. It's a great place to raise kids. Uh, we have three teenagers right now, so we've raised them since they were about two years old in Houston. Um, so it's been fantastic. The schools are great. Um, all the opportunities with sports and um, theater and whatever you want with restaurants downtown. It's just a great city to be a part of. That's a bunch of NASA's there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I guess he's that's probably seen a lot of that. Excited about. <laughs> And, and this is the 48th. Yeah, a lot of people get excited. That's good. Yes. Well, as, as they should be. We've both been to the museum, and now we're talking to an astronaut. So I, I don't know what your kids think about having a dad that's in space, but my kids right now, I'm like at the top of the cool mom chart. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different at our house. I'm just dad, which is really the way I want it. And, uh, you know, they've always kept me nice and humble, which is great. Now, you uh, have been a KSBJ listener. You know about KSBJ for a while. Then how, how did that start? Oh, gosh, I don't even remember. I'm sure um, back in 2000 when we moved here, we were just looking for a Christian radio station, and uh, that's the one we found and have enjoyed listening to it ever since. It's, it's great to have you aboard. If I can say it's great to have you aboard, Commander, uh, because <laughs> I feel cool saying that. You sounded cool saying it. <laughs> and, come here. Yeah, I'm, I am honored to be part of your team. Thanks. Oh, brother. You're going to be a part of this team for the 48th anniversary of Apollo 8 circling the moon at Christmas time. Is it, that's true? Yeah, that is true. So that was a pretty special moment when they read the Christmas story from space. Would it be possible... See, it's the 48th anniversary of, of this happening at Christmas time, which is exquisite. It's amazing. My mother and father-in-law's anniversary was just a few days ago, and we missed it. I mean, we literally called them a day late. Can you do the Superman thing, and while you're flying around the moon, you could, like, maybe fly what? around the Earth a couple of times backwards? We could go back in time, because I am never going to hear the end of missing my in-law's anniversary. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I don't don't hold your breath on that one though. Um, on a side note, what is the craziest question you've ever got <laughs> for being an astronaut? Because I'm sure that people think that you do this and it's just like the movies. What's one thing what's one question that you've got that's out there and then what's one thing that we don't realize about space that we, we kinda think is the other way around? Um, a crazy one I've gotten a lot lately is, hey, are you coming home for Christmas? Like, we can just come home on a weekend and then come back up here. So that's kind of crazy. Is there one thing that we believe then, about uh, space something, that's let's see. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Um, because everybody kind of has different perceptions. I think most people think that we, when we go to space, we go to the moon. And we haven't been to the moon since the early 1970s, but most Americans and most people around the world, that's what they think when they think about space. So it's just what they relate to space. So we don't go to the moon. We go to the space station now, which is only about 250 miles away from our planet. Uh, we're going about 17,500 miles an hour all the time. So we go around the Earth every 90 minutes. Um, so those are some facts that, that folks usually mess up. So I just wanted to clear the air on those. Commander Shane, do you have a favorite artist that you listen to on KSBJ? And I ask this because maybe if we hear that artist, we can remember you in that moment, you and your family, every time we listen to them. I have a lot of them, so I'll get in trouble if I just mention one. But the whole passion team, Christian Stanfield, Crowder, uh, Need to Breathe, uh, Matthew West, Brandon Heath, Casting Crowns. Um, I got a bunch of them, so um, th there aren't many I don't like. Let me put it that way. We got to wrap up here in just about a minute, but I just want to ask you: Why do you love doing what you do? Well, I think it uh, comes from um, initially from my time in the military, and that I just love serving and I love serving my country. Um, and this just happened to be an incredible opportunity that I was given to be able to do this in uh, quite a unique environment. Of course, um, it's not. It's not easy. Um, there is there is some there are many challenges, and uh, just the separation is a challenge for.
people with families and kids, and um, we're working through all that. And uh, we know it's all going to be um, in God's plan down the road, but not quite sure what that is right now, like, like most times. Well, we really appreciate you. Your country is behind you. You are a hero, whether or not the kids see that right now. Merry Christmas to all of you, and thank you so much for your time. All right. Merry Christmas, Houston. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you, KSBJ Radio. Station, please stand by while we reconfigure the video and audio comm for the second event.